There's a little show called Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction. Okay. It's from 1999-ish. And all... Well, chat, are you guys down to watch Fact or Fiction? They love it. They love it. They love it. Look at them go. Look at them go. They're excited. I mean, anything from 1999 couldn't possibly be bad. Yeah, that's that's what I'm always saying. Mm-hmm. Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction. You don't mind it. Bar. Hosted by Jonathan Frakes. Hosted. Tonight, your challenge is to separate what is true from what is false. Five stories, some real, some fake. Can you judge which are fact and which are fiction? To find out, you must enter a world of both truth and deception. A world that is beyond belief. Oh my god, they changed this off. I, I mean, it's not it. really a song so song. much as it is. Yeah, hang on. Let me listen to the old, the old one Beyond real quick. Belief is, it fell off, you know. Yeah, I dude. What song. the hell? I need to hear. Oh yeah, we got to Well, I go, I got to introduce Sam to Jonathan Frakes though. Yeah, you gotta give me the meat before you give me the potatoes. You yeah. know what I mean? This is normally how the episodes open. Okay. John Frick's walking in. There's super cuts. It's of very this, by Twilight the way. Zone energy. Yeah. Tonight we have a challenge for you. Can you tell fact from fiction? Beyond belief. Fact or fiction? Hosted by Jonathan Frakes. Frakes. There he is. We live in a world where the real and the unreal live side by side, where substance is disguised as illusion and the only explanations are unexplainable. Can you separate truth from fantasy? To do so, you must break through the web of your experience and open your mind to things beyond belief. Um, all right. So I, I don't know what they did with season three, but I, I, I want a refund. Okay. There he is. is the truth always easy to see? Take this picture. Viewed from this angle, it appears to be a dramatic seascape. However, <laughs> take this vase, what? place it on the picture, and observe. The clear reflection of a man with a beard. The it happens to be the face reflection? of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. I see, I see. <laughs> now I can see. <laughs> I don't know how clear it is. I don't know, Johnny. I, I think, I think <laughs> we can see it now. Legendary science fiction writer, Jules Verne. The man who knew well the blurry lines. See, if I have to work fantasy. to make my artwork, Tonight I don't want it. Stories that maybe... Yeah, you're like, oh, I like that painting. Yeah, like, and you're if... like, yeah, actually, let me take it off. Yeah. Like, but wait, you like, take it off the wall. I've also got, I need a shiny vase. Does anybody have a vase? <laughs> yeah. Inspired by actual events where they may be clever lies. But in judging them, be careful of what they may seem to be. For like this picture, there may be hidden truths contained within. A fact should give you pause for reflection. <gasps> so every episode starts with a Jonathan Frakes walking into frame and then um there's also a, a an optical illusion. Every mm-hmm. single every single episode he shows right. us a different optical illusion. Nice. They come in strips. And then he also plays around with a lot of props. Sticks, Ooh, tubes and kits. Prop guy. They inform you with dots, streaks, colors and symbols. Today's home pregnancy tests are available oh. <laughs> everywhere and can be purchased right alongside the beer and potato chips. In fact, these modern versions are said to be over 99% accurate. Sorry, someone said, fun fact, did you know Jonathan Brake suffered a very bad back injury? And as a result, he sits in chairs by swinging his leg over the back of them. Jordan thought that's just because he was tall. Uh, and he, Jordan started doing that. Oh, um, interesting. Also, what is he talking about? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. I the visual I'm struggling to understand. He puts his legs over the back of oh. the chairs. I have a feeling there's it's a super not cut gonna of, be anything like what I'm. There's a super cut of everything with this man. Okay. Now. See, what I was imagining is that he sits Grand down. Doctor Pulaski's being shown to her quarters. We're ready to get underway. Grand. Love Star Wars. Number one. Re- so he sits down. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> and he sits with his legs. You can't even legs. look at the chat in the eyes after this. <laughs> he sits with 
I was imagining you were saying that he sits in chairs. Like <laughs> Due to a <laughs> back like injury. Factor fiction. <laughs> Due to a, a horrible like, back why injury. Why would that help? Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave you with. All right. Anyway, we get the idea. Nope. Wrong episode. Should give you pause for reflection. <gasps> okay. It's contained within. A fact which should give you pause for reflection. They come in strips, sticks, tubes, and kits. They inform you with dots, streaks, colors, and symbols. Today's home pregnancy tests are available everywhere and can be purchased right alongside the beer and potato chips. In fact, these modern versions are said to be over 99% accurate. Yet one percentage point still leaves room for doubt. Take 18-year-old Marissa Bates. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I was literally like, where is this going? <laughs> okay, so that's about a story. Her body is starting You're to feel different. teaching us days. about the power oh, of contraceptives. <laughs> okay, her body is starting to feel different. Okay, Johnson. <laughs> but whether she's pregnant or not will soon be put to a terrifying test. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> where is this going? <laughs> This story is about to be about haunted pregnancy babies. <laughs> no, literally. If you get pregnant, you will die. This is our home die. in Del Mar, California. Until that terrifying summer, it was quiet and peaceful. Our daughter Marissa had just graduated from high school that June. She was starting college in the fall, but until then, she was determined to have the summer of her young life. My husband Glenn and I were beginning to suspect that she had gotten herself into a bad situation. The chat is making very Marissa, funny what's wrong? fiction jokes. It's your stomach again, isn't it? This has been going on for three weeks now. It can't be the flu. Glenn, we both know what it is. We just don't want to face it. Marissa's been spending a lot of time with Jason. Maybe they messed up. It could be morning sickness. Not Jason. Okay, I, have to talk with her. I know she doesn't want to talk to us about anything, but she's going to have to talk to us about this. Glenn, let me do it. You're getting upset. Yeah, Glenn, you're a little too mad right now. Come on, Glenn. We talked to her. Take a seat. Yeah. Marissa? Hold on. The director's name is Skips. Wait. We've talked about this guy before. They're, one of the director's names is Skip Schoolnick. You can move the captions? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Learn something new every day. All right, that's a bit of a professional. Sweetie? <laughs> I'm a bit of a YouTuber. I'm not so. pregnant. Why can't you believe me? It's just that all the symptoms are there. Now your father the and I are trying to figure pregnancy. this whole thing out and it's something to explore. There's nothing to explore, okay? It's no big deal. I got some kind of flu bug or something, but I'm feeling better now. I'm sure it's going away. Marissa, we just want you to know that we're here for you. If there's anything you want to talk there's about. There's nothing to talk about, So is Mom. the fact in fiction I'm like not... she's pregnant or not pregnant? No. The fact or fiction is going to be, we're going to watch a story. Okay. And we're not going to know if that's a true story or if that's a fictitious story. Oh. And we're going to have to decide. Okay. And then at the end of the episode, they tell us. Okay. Pregnant. Oh, a little self charcuterie board. That's how I live my life. As the days <laughs> this is passed, how I imagine yeah. you. Marissa began to have <laughs> This is when you told me you had cheese in your stream room. <laughs> that's what I, this is what you I imagine. Things. Actually, clarify. I said I have Cheez-Its in my stream room, and you thought I had a block of cheese <laughs> in my stream room. I thought you said cheeses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and they're all on mouse traps. Just yeah, they're like, like little blocks of cheese. I keep mouse traps. Over the next few weeks, her clothes became harder and harder to fit into. Okay, I mean, she had, maybe she had a little bit of uh, diet caffeine free Coke. Mm -mm. She got a little bloated. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh dear. Oh no. That's what Coke will do to you. Marissa had always watched her figure. Now her waistline was out of control. What is happening to me? I don't know. When I have gluten, I get kind of like my belly gets all, you know, bloated. <laughs> you so. get when, <laughs> when, you when I have gluten, I show signs of pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> It's just IBS, yeah. yeah. Literally. There is no other explanation, Marissa. Hot girls have you stomach problems too, guys. Yeah. Pregnant. 
So let's move out of denial. Okay, Dad, I'm gonna need you to shut up. Yeah, <laughs> Sit down and shut up. She's also and clearly Danielle. like five to like five months pregnant, probably. Yeah. And he's like, you and Jason know. made a mistake. Where's I know Jason? What this look like, but it's impossible. I never had sex with Jason or anyone. I swear. We want to believe you, Marissa. But oh, just you could give me a whole pregnancy test. How has it gotten to this point with no test? Mm. Or or going to the doctor? Mm. Yeah, why is it going to the doctor? Yeah. Well, according to this, <gasps> you're not pregnant. Ooh. She's not. <laughs> Dad's like, what? What? Oh, what's wrong? Something moved. You. Well, there's definitely like something alien. there. What do you think it is, Dr. Sepperstein? I don't want to alarm you, but it looks like a large cyst. It, it, just such an odd shape. What I've never seen anything like it before. You know, cyst? True. What about the movement I was feeling? Oh, that was probably a muscle spasm or some gas. It wasn't a muscle spasm or gas. Marissa, the test came back negative. You're not pregnant. What about this tumor or cyst or whatever it is? What do we do about it? Well, I recommend that we go in and remove it as quickly as possible. It's an alien. Mom. Is she going to be all right? Marissa's a strong young woman. Whatever it is, recovery will be quick. Jesus 2.0. Whatever it is? <laughs> Could be. This is so, like, visceral. I feel like normally the stories are not like this. I'm in it. Are we good to go? Okay. Scalpel. Yo, they're just going straight in? This is kind of just like a Grey's Anatomy deleted scene. They couldn't have done... Okay. Where's Meredith? <laughs> Derek Shepard would never let this happen. Sponge it, please. Alright, follow me. <laughs> Great suction. Thank you. They're gonna suck it out. Yeah, I, I just want to say content warning for I don't know what they're gonna show, so could be anything. So everybody, uh, you know, if if you're if you're sensitive to this type of thing, uh, we'll let you know when it's over. Doing great. Let me get the retractors in here. We're in. What is All Sam's right. channel name? Sandwich. Sandwich. Sandwich is it on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. Sandwich X. What is that? You it's on just Twitter? I had yeah. It's okay. Sandwich X on everything, and then on YouTube it's Sandwich Official. Got it. Oh, and YouTube it's Sandwich Official. Yeah, I could have Sandwich X, which that would make sense, but <laughs> but I I had but to go I'm, official. No, I'm official. There's too many unofficial yeah. services out yeah. there. It's time for me to like lay Fair. down the and law. And also for all the people that have the sandwich handles but don't use those accounts. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Let's get the clamps in there. Here we go. Doing great. Let's see. Someone said big TW for body horror. I remember oh. this one. Okay. If it's a teratoma, then this is going to be weird. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm getting, no, I'm getting nervous. So everybody watch out. All right. Let's find this. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. All right. Give me some room. He's going in. And there it is. Scalpel. I've always wanted to say scalpel. Scalpel, yeah. I he just, said it twice in the I've scene. always wanted to do that. Whoa, that's strange. It feels like it's moving. Oh, oh, oh. It's almost like if you just listen to what she said. It's a see? Do these get kind of like sci-fi sometimes, or is it probably not an oh alien? Oh my god. I would be so surprised if it was an alien. Really? Okay, because I this could go any direction. This could right truly now. go anywhere. I have I no really clue could. where it's gonna go. Roger, what is it? Oh my god. It's a baby octopus. What? Whoa. How did that get in there? The birth of David Jones. The doctors came up with the only explanation that made sense. 
Marissa had been spending a lot of time swimming in the ocean that summer. She must have swallowed a fertilized octopus egg, and her body provided the <laughs> Sorry, that's so true. incubator for its development. Our daughter is fully recovered now, but we'll never get the nightmare out of our minds. What an insane first story for you to watch. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna go anyway. The scene was suppressed for years and is still denied by the medical community. But let's be clear about one thing. No one is claiming that Marissa gave birth to an octopus, only that one was surgically removed from inside her body. Despite the contradictions and cover-ups by those involved, can this really be possible? Can a fertilized octopus egg ingested into the human system actually grow inside the body? So do you think her and Jason Certainly other like organisms can. Vegan. Parasites. He gets well, this vegs. is this is very bizarre. This normally doesn't happen. In fact, he's already saying that he's already saying that like Did she keep the octopus? <laughs> yeah, is it hers? <laughs> is it like, hmm. Such as tapeworms have grown I'm to enormous size inside their human. Well, but th this kind of feels like he's not going to ask us if it's fact or fiction. Do you accept this tale of an octopus who lived inside a human being as true? Absolutely. Or is there something fishy going on here? We'll find out if this story is true or fake. Wait, but he just said that the metal commu communi the Sorry. <laughs> Hold Run on. Run it back. Start over. <laughs> he, he just said that the medical community says that this didn't happen. This was a big day for the octopus community, though. <laughs> That's very, it was a very big day. It's a very big day. A though. big come up, actually, it's for big, Octopi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me jump to the end. Uh, where did, where, where? Which are fiction when Beyond Belief returns? I think before we were at like nine minutes, 13 seconds. Oh, is this where it tells you? Does it yeah, give yeah, you a I, bunch of them and then it... Yeah, so basically it shows shows us all of them at the end, but oh. so... Now let's look back at tonight's stories and find out which ones are inspired by... I, I skip around because it help, we can do a prediction like, gotcha. like, gotcha. like immediately. Actual mm -hmm. events and which ones are totally false. The story of the young girl who swallowed a fertilized octopus egg and grew the creature inside her body. Okay, so there's two things here. I feel like it might be fiction because if she swallowed the egg then it wouldn't go into her uterus but they never said it was in her uterus yeah they didn't it they didn't say where it tummy. was yeah but i feel like her stomach would have dissolved it yeah i don't know now i'm True going backwards what about the movement i was feeling oh that was probably a muscle spasm or some gas it wasn't a muscle spasm or gas Wrist. it was like an octopus the test came back negative. You're not pregnant. Do you think you've heard a story like this somewhere? Is it true? The octopus. All right. Is the, the prediction's over, right? Only in the world of urban legends. Although this one has been circulated as true, it's fiction. <gasps> Damn. I really All right. It to be true. All right. It's fiction. God, that would have been so cool. That's a, that's a rare fact or fiction. Like that's a big one. I'm kind of surprised that they 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 did that because. Well, I don't want to spoil anything in the future, so. Right. What was the what was the split on that? Yeah, the one thing that gave it away is I feel like if you swallow something, it's yeah, like, we wow. have sixty six percent fiction, thirty four percent fact. Respect to the fact. Uh, Respect to voters, the factors. The, the, the factors. factors. Mm -hmm. Respect to y'all. No. Y'all are real. Mm -hmm. Um. I bet ten k on the fact, Selena. No. That? You are not going to be compensated for that. <laughs> Find out if this story is true or false at the Government end of our... cover up. Let her speak her octopus baby truth. <laughs> show. Next, a real estate agent sells a house with a curse on Beyond Belief. There we go. That, that's, a, that, that, that's a normal story. Fiction. Have you noticed what big stars real estate agents have become? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think about that every day. <laughs> Uh, so there is a video called Jonathan Frakes Asks You Questions. I think you've maybe seen enough. I've seen there's a montage of him saying like the same word over and over and I can't remember what it is or the same phrase. Um, is, is it if, like whether or not is, something is true or not? Because he, yeah, maybe because he does that as well. Like we, we watch all these. But. Have you ever walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized you'd forgotten where you parked your car? Ever go on mountain what? biking? What do you want to be when you grow up? What's the right tip? Have you called a plumber to your home lately? How superstitious are you? How much money would it take to make you spend a night in a cemetery? 
Would you display this as a trophy? Do you have a pet? Do you have a sweet tooth? Do you believe in the power of a curse? Have you had your hearing Yes. Planning a trip soon. Can you remember the tallest man you've ever seen? Do you love to go wandering <laughs> beneath the clear blue sky? The year have you noticed was what big stars real estate agents have become? Are you careful with your personal records? Does your computer ever seem to have a mind of its own? Have you ever visited a Chinatown section in a major city? Have you ever visited a flea market? Have you ever visited a truck stop? Did you ever have a job as a waiter? Have you noticed how many successful restaurants are theme-based these days? Have you ever had the desire to write your initials in wet cement? Wow. Yeah, I mean, there, there's more, but yeah. Oh, those are good questions. Yeah. The questions that the people are begging to have asked. Jonathan Fricks tells you things. Firefighters are constant reminders of heroic behavior. Auto racing has become one of America's fastest growing sports. Thieves are difficult to outsmart. Dolls seem to have their own personalities. Milk only comes in a carton. Many crimes. <laughs> Some of these still It's not in the carton, it's not milk. <laughs> it's not milk. Remain a mystery forever. A glass of milk movies has been wrong is easier than it's ever been. The conscience is a meddlesome companion. There's one where he goes, the video business is big business. Oh, someone literally <laughs> just said that. that. That's my favorite fucking one. Wait, hold on. Milk bag. Ooh, the yeah, Canadians are in shambles guillotine. right now. Making movies is easier than it's ever been. The conscience is a meddlesome companion. The guillotine has been out of fashion for a while. Comic books are serious Guillotines business. Are so the video right business now. has become big business. There it is. Uh, been out of fashion for a while. Comic books are serious that? business. The video business has become big business. And all access pass is a prank. <laughs> big we business know. is big yeah. business. Precious commodity. If you can remember the 60s, you weren't really there. Wheelchairs like this huh? are used in many ways. Of course, it's always... <laughs> <laughs> Wheelchairs like this are used in many ways. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Safer to hike in groups. Horses have long been thought of as magical creatures. History is filled <laughs> with stories of magic clothing. The corner drugstore was a magical place. One of the things that brings people together the joy of cooking but all the information about the opposite sex is meaningless unless it's accompanied by an understanding of the heart all right let's get back to it wrong you see their names and faces sorry like, you know, now, now this now you'll see the jo the joy of everything I, you're yeah. gonna do. It's on beyond belief fact or fiction have you noticed what big stars real estate agents have become yes you see their names and faces on billboards on benches than every Sunday newspaper. Is it any wonder with star treatment like this that many real estate agents begin to act like stars themselves? Bev Conklin is a true star of the real estate world. Bev to see Conklin. her fast talking, charming spiel is like witnessing a high wire act. But in this case, Bev isn't working without a net. She's working without a conscience. That sounds just like her. Yeah, because they pay for ads. Yeah, it's not like people are just. Right. They're just showing off them for no reason. Oh, I'd never met a woman signs. like Bev Red Conklin flag. before. I wish I never had. Bev was the number one real estate agent on the East Coast. She could sell anything except Hampton Manor. I didn't know it at the time, but the manor was cursed. All five previous owners had met with horrible Sorry, the phrase previous owner, like, activates uh, me. <laughs> <It's been laughs> All activated. five previous owners? <laughs> Perhaps Stanley Ritter is one of them. By the time I started house hunting, Hampton Manor was up for sale again. My wife and I were fresh from the city to Bev. Let's go, Bev. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. That's, That's awesome. Yeah. My wife and I were fresh nice. from the city. <laughs> Bev yeah. must look like hors d'oeuvres on a train, ready to be devoured. As we closed the deal on Hampton Manor, yeah, dude, Bev for never real. mentioned any curse. Martha and I have been wanting to move out of Manhattan for years, but we just couldn't find the right house. Well, you certainly found it in Hampton Manor, Don. I can't get over the fabulous deal you got us, Bev. <laughs> I keep thinking, there has to be something wrong with the old place. But the inspection checked out fine. Of course it did. Why are they hands like Bev that? Conklin like they're only still holding it up. It's like when you like win Bev a Conklin fight. Bev Conklin, <laughs> <Right. laughs> But the inspection yeah. <laughs> We did it! Like neither one of them wants to give. They're just like, they're arm wrestling. Of course it did. Bev Conklin only sells the best. I envy you both. I just wish I could afford a home like Captain Manor. Will you invite me over once in a while? This, for a couple this couple are one hundred percent. The couple are one hundred percent dying. Yeah. I can drool. Their marriage is in shambles. <laughs> you got a deal, Ben. Congratulations. Hi, Don. Hi, Martha. Hi, 
Bye. Drive safe now. Yes. 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 <laughs> I want a super cut of Bev Compton celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Do, you did it. You, what? What is it? I just can't believe you didn't tell those people about the curse of Hampton Manor. Oh, give me a break, Gina. Really. There's no such thing as a cursed house. So those other owners had some bad luck. It happens. It's not my fault. I just think you should have said something. There's nothing in the real estate code of ethics that says anything about divulging dumb superstitions to potential buyers. I would have told them about the curse. Her smirched. It's a sale. Or smirch. All right. The Mackles are gonna so love a couple that hundred place. people were murdered. I mean, bet I get a lot of referrals. Wait, what is what is her name? The Mackles are gonna love the that Mackles. Place. Oh my god. <laughs> I bet I get a lot of referrals from that couple. Mr. and Mrs. Mackle. I'm Don Mackle. This is Martha Mackle. I didn't see Mackle. Bev Conklin again for almost six months, but by this time, things were very different. Uh, I feel like if you were like trying to generate names, like Martha Mackle is what you cross out before you write Meghan Markle. Yeah, you true. know what I mean? Yeah, because it's like it's no, 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 oh Martha Mackle, no, 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 no. There's no way. That's not a real person. Yeah. What's doing? <laughs> Mackle it's sounds like a desk. slur. It's Mr. Mackle. <laughs> Best come back. Her smirch. Remember? <laughs> oh, the rich stockbroker. Hmm. He certainly looked better. He's like right next Ooh. to you. He can hear you. Yeah, she's like three oh, feet behind him. The rich stockbroker. Nobody in these shows has any idea. Oh, like, Mr. Mackle, what are you doing yeah. here? Yeah. In the market for a summer He's home, dead. perhaps? Oh, Something on the cake? Oh. Wow. What happened to you? Ever since I took ownership of Hampton Manor, my life has gone to ruin. All my stocks and bonds collapsed. My no. clients abandoned me. My wife left me for another man. No. And I've developed a bleeding ulcer that causes me constant pain. Jesus. That's all very sad. <laughs> She's like, that's a bummer. Yeah, honestly. Damn. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> I finally learned so from the neighbors about the right curse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind of, this is a happy space. Can you not? You can't come into my office and trauma yeah. up like that. <laughs> of Hampton Manor. Oh, that really. Why? Why didn't you tell me about it before you sold it? <laughs> she said L plus get happier. She's like, I have one of these for you. <laughs> yeah. To me. That was not my responsibility. Now, honestly, Mr. Maggle, you can't blame your bad luck on... You know what's weird? I kind of hear where Bev is coming from. That's true, yeah. You know what I mean? He's kind of being a downer. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking, like, how are you going to be like, by the way, it's cursed. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Can you sign this for the curse? I mean, I wouldn't... I think I would just avoid the place, right? Yeah. Like, I would... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't try to sell it. House is a house. It's really cheap. House. There is no such thing as a curse. I, I want the manor sold immediately. Oh, well, if you want me to represent you as your agent, that's different. Of course, you understand it's going to take a while to find a buyer. I mean, that is a very special house. No! It has to be done today. Immediately. Oh, what do you mean? God, you must be kidding. That's not... I can't find a buyer today. If I own that house a moment longer, I know. I'll die. What if she's like, I'll buy the house? Well, she's thinking about letting him die. If you'd let it go for three hundred thousand, I'd be glad to take it off your hands. There we go. Hands today. Called it. But that's less than half of what I paid for it. I know. You lose, pal. I mean, you said you wanted to sell it today. Yeah. <laughs> or else right. you die. <laughs> like, like, what are you? How are you supposed to risk? Like, to be honest, Bev is kind of helping him out. Truly. Or he could die. All right. It's a deal. Oh, John. And you are going to be so happy because I'm. Oh yeah, we can get rid of the body horror TW. I'm gonna well, say. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's, the octopus is like, <laughs> oh my god, there's an octopus inside of the manor. <laughs> inside the manor. So much time in escrow. I can do it all right here. 
I signed over the deed, making Bev Conklin the owner of Hampton Manor. She was only too happy to take it off my hands. Well, then, I, that's not a fair assessment of what happened. You said, I'm going to die if I don't sell it today. Yeah. It's a house. You can't sell a he house in a, a day. a little dramatic. Yeah. She didn't believe in curses. I hate to be defending this random real estate. I never saw Bev again. And she does suck. But her assistant, Gina, who definitely believed in the curse, told me the rest of the story. Oh my God. Oh, the price is fabulous. I may never sell it. The bathroom alone is worth the price of the mortgage. Oh, yeah, no, I wish I was still the bath. Such a nice big tub. Bev, don't you feel weird about poor Mr. Mako? Why should I? He's completely nuts. The place is great. Are you booby trap? Are you scared? <laughs> I told you, I haven't had one single problem. Not whatsoever. That's great. She got a mortgage in an hour. I think she bought it in cash or something. She said, she said something about like avoiding. Already, that. there is no curse. Well, hope you're right there. Uh, is she literally about to die right now? This is the slowest moving light. It, literally. <laughs> when they're talking about the speed of light, this is it. That is so fucking funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Insult Classic. to injury. Classic. Bev? Bev? Did Hampton Manor really have a curse? Skip to like a was Bev Conklin just a victim of bad luck? Then how do you explain the misfortune of every other owner of the property? Also, why did Bev die immediately when that guy he had all this time for his stocks and yeah, bonds I thought there to was go? Like a buffer period. Yeah, like, like give a me trial. A second. Like you get like thirty days free and then you die. Or it's like at the end of the month the house takes a life. Mm. So it's whoever's in the it's whoever's like kind of there. Cycle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could they all just have been unlucky people? Oh. Bev did nothing wrong. I mean, honestly, I'm a little bit of a Bev truther here. Yeah, she, I don't think she deserved that. Yeah, she didn't deserve to get electrocuted to death. I don't think so. I mean, Ma Mackles, they're alive. I mean, yeah. the Mackle guy is alive. The Mackles could have had anything going on. There's a lot of skeletons in their closet. Yeah. I wonder how he's doing now. Here's something else to ponder. Mr. Mackle. We've changed the name and location of Hampton Manor for story purposes, but the home we based it on had a similar curse. In fact, a very wealthy couple bought it in the early 80s. At the time, they scoffed at the curse, and why not? They owned hotels, skyscrapers, and businesses all over the world. Within a short time after moving into their new home, their empire crumbled and dissolved. Their names, Harry and Leona Helmsley. Will Helmsley? That's a rich ass. That is a name. rich person name, for yeah. sure. Tell you whether this story is true or false. We'll tell you. I, I, they're not. I'm not used to Jonathan Brakes telling us so much background about the story immediately after. Really? Yeah. This is not normally. What, normally, it just goes. Any chance that happened? And then it kind of comes to this, and it's like, we'll tell you if this happened huh. in like a like at the end of the show or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just like that. That's how it goes. <laughs> you think this shit? We actually went is down. This, well, let's go down. You. Well, you're gonna have to we wait. We got some for, crazy for stuff in store. Is it true? Now let's look at the house with the curse on it. Was this story true? I finally learned from the neighbors about the curse of Hampton Manor. Oh, that really. Why? Why didn't you tell me about it before you sold it? Wait, Jarvis, pause. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got to give it give it time. I want mm. a snack. I don't really have snacks in this home. Yep. So we're about to find out whether or not the house was haunted. There was a haunted house, mm -hmm. a haunted manor, in fact. To me. See, they're making that a bold statement, because if they say it was true, then they're confirming ghosts. She doesn't know. I don't know. It's not my responsibility. Although we changed the name of the house, this story was inspired by an actual event. <laughs> it seems so rude to put fact <laughs> over her dead body. dead body. She died. L. Um. <laughs> okay, so now that it's fact, uh, which I'm curious, join us in following sandwich. Yes, yes, yes. Dismiss. 
I am already doing that. Um, so, oh, you're really just gone. Sam the Gorilla episode. Oh my god. Lord. So, so they regularly will do this shit where mm -hmm. it's like there's a gu a ghost inside of the gun, and then they'll be like facts, and you're like, wait, <laughs> what do you mean facts? Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of so the it's just up to their right decision. So the octopus could have been birthed, but we it's, they just it's up to their discretion. Did John cheat? What is this eighty six percent fact? Of course they. Don't don't Guys, cheat. Don't Never do cheat at this game. Nobody you'll, likes that guy. You'll get haunted. Yeah. Nobody likes that guy. You'll get haunted. You'll birth an octopus. Yeah. And that's a threat. And that yep. This guy's face. Arr! But she Shout out to the uh assistant. Yeah. Why didn't you pin that? Why did you pin that? Did I <laughs> why did Yee. I pin that? <laughs> Yee. <laughs> Yee. <laughs> Is it accident? <laughs> Look, oh wait, delete, no, no, unpin, unpin this message. Remove the evidence. Yeez. Okay. <laughs> that one person is just like, hell yeah. <laughs> it happens in the time of my life, my dude. <laughs> Yeez. One single property. Oh, also, is it true that the electricity went slow as hell? Maybe that will break down. Slow motion lightning. Uh, Bad. They all. Oh, this is um, we're gonna get back. Okay. Of all the instruments of capital punishment, guillotine. surely the most fiendish is the guillotine. The sentenced prisoner would place his or her head here, affectionately known as the chopping block, and then a blade sharpened so fine it could slice. slice I didn't know it was called the chopping block. That's where that. That's where that's from. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> You're like, yes, of course. The human hair in half would be released by the execution. So it said, holy shit, the edible the result? A dramatic slice of life. Of course, the guillotine is not a fashion for <laughs> Sorry. But its legend There's is still with a us. A random yes, command Jacques that's like a year old. As a Silly goose. Figures he has <laughs> Feeling to. famous right now. His latest project is the beheading <laughs> of French monarch Marie Antoinette. And he's praying history does not repeat itself. Wax executioner. Wait, so someone's gonna like, someone's gonna like cut the head off of waxing, and somebody's gonna die in real life or some shit. That's my guess based on the title. The world famous Le Font Wax Museum is considered by connoisseurs to be one of the finest of its kind. Whether they're duplicating movie sets or famous moments from history, the attention to detail is legendary. That's Frankenstein's Down to the last monster. bolt. True. The creative force behind the success of the Le Font wax exhibits was wax sculptor Pierre Saint-Jean. Pierre was not only a genius at his work, he was an absolute... In, like, L.A., like, in the, like on the Madame Hollywood Walk. Like Madame or whatever. Kind of sick. Yeah, they, sick. it is cool. I mean, some of them are, like, really off, but some are, like... Like, the Little Nas X one looks really good. The Uncanny Valley is... Yeah, it's Uncanny Valley for sure. Incredible. Absolute perfectionist. He was so obsessive and demanding that the only one who could tolerate his high-strung behavior was his loyal brother, High-strung, that's a pun about... Guillotine. Together, they have prepared the precise details for the newest masterpiece in Pierre's acclaimed career, the beheading of Marie Antoinette. Pierre. What? Oh. Finally, it's a riot. I was worried there was about to be some French accents going on. The exact duplicate of the blade that separated poor Marie Antoinette's okay, head from her body. Yeah. Yeah. Do you really think the public cares if it's real or not? I care, and that's all that matters. You can tell he's an artist because he has a paintbrush behind his hair. <laughs> Pierre's outbursts were face familiar to him. Mm -hmm. He dismissed them as the necessary release of an artistic temperament. Besides, Pierre was the one with the talent, so Andre chose to tolerate his behavior. Andre? Andre! Why did you put the executioner in position so soon? I don't want him here yet. I didn't. The last time I looked, he was back there. Okay, this guy's gonna get his head cut off by the executioner. This guy? Yeah. Yep. 
Well, someone moved him here. Pierre, if I did move him, wouldn't there be footprints in the... <laughs> Just sign the accents? I, They're I, not good, right? Like, no, are they... No, and they keep kind of, like, flipping on and off, Yeah, too. yeah. And they're having an argument in these accents. It's really throwing me off. Right. Bert. Can't you see? Yeah, the, the accents are flickering in and out. No! I can't be bothered with this now. I cannot be bothered with this. Yeah, that guy didn't have an accent, like, 30 seconds ago. Chat, you can't ship every two people on screen. <laughs> you, 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 come on. Did you ever think you would become immortal, Mary? At this oh, height look, he's leaning over the thing. I felt. I closed it. Actually. No. And what was going through your head those last few moments? Freaking blade. Pierre, yeah, are you all right? I think so. It all happened so quickly. Look. <laughs> Someone is pulling a prank. <laughs> it literally ends and it's like, was the wax executioner alive? <laughs> yeah. Fact or fiction? <laughs> that was like a Scooby Doo moment. And I wanted Maybe they're to still inside the museum. Yeah. Pierre and Andre searched the entire museum but could find no one else there. The doors were still George Bush? Well, who was that? Pierre and Andre searched the entire Hands. museum but could that's, uh, find Edward no Cullen? one else. Wait, is that George Bush? Who is that? that could be anything. On the right. Uh could be either of the George Bushes. True. That's there. The doors were still bolted from the inside, so nobody could have left. The brothers agreed that it must have been a freak accident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they wanted to put their fear aside that somehow the wax execution possessed <laughs> of an evil spirit. Frankenstein and the CIA. It's a great opening. Yes. Congratulations, brother. Also, why is a museum guillotine real? Great question. It's everything I dreamed it would be. French again? Did you hear the comments about how realistic the exhibits are? Especially my Marie Antoinette. Yes, Pierre, I heard the comments. Perhaps now, finally, you understand the importance of my perfection. <laughs> what <laughs> that? He that? He, like, went into a southern accent. Yeah. Perhaps finally you understand. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh Perhaps finally you understand. Is this yeah. like the scene in Inglorious Bastards where they're trying to do the, the, the accents? That's so funny. Girl, I heard the comments. Perhaps now, finally, you understand the importance of my perfection. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, finally, you understand. Whoa. Perhaps. <laughs> Can you imagine how horrible that must have been to have your head chopped off? I think it's kind of cool. I wonder what they did with all the heads. <laughs> That's so sad. So no head? You know what would be the bomb? What? A picture. With your head in that guillotine. Oh no. Are you crazy? Oh you know what would Come be on, the Chrissy, bomb? I've got two shots left on the roll. It's it's not like it's real. It's all wax. They, well, why me? You, no shot. They put this in a museum and don't have like warnings and right. shit around it if it's a real ass blade. What are you doing? Honestly, because it's kind of got a flag for him. Be a girl. We're recreating the beheading of Marie Antoinette. My ick on, is when so uh, my date puts my head under a guillotine. <laughs> yeah, and I die. For the bit. <laughs> For the bit. Kind of my personal ick. <laughs> my personal ick is when I get my head chopped off by my, my date. Cringe. And also when he says, you know what would be the bomb? <laughs> the bomb.com? Okay. Yeah. Let me know if somebody's coming. Why be... <laughs> Wait, what was that cut? Let me know yeah, if somebody's in case coming. We didn't remember a minute yeah. ago when that happened. Yeah, literally, what, this is vandalism, right? This is not, even if it wasn't a real blade, like, how do you not? Uh, okay, okay. Kneel down and, and put your head in, in on the block. <laughs> oh. This is too weird. His mouth is he's taking a photo pose he's looks so ridiculous. Weird. This is the peak of his night. This is too weird. Thank you. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I I I, I can't get everything in. That's Dave, will you just take the picture? Okay, okay, but it, it's not gonna work unless you look more scared. Hurry up! Chrissy! Magically Eli, thank you for the Chrissy! Wait, what? Wait, what Are you okay? I was afraid there might be another accident, so I Ooh. replaced the real blade with one made of balsa wood. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Stop. Now I suggest we replace the executioner. He's mad. His face is like a frown. They take the, the, the hood <laughs> off and he's frowning. If they end the story here, oh my god, yeah. it was just a loose guillotine. Why they have to make it about the? They just kept the only thing tying the executioner to it was they kept cutting to the executioner. Did this story really happen, or was it merely overworked imaginations that made the two men begin to see things in their own exhibit? And why were there no footprints showing the executioner had moved? Also, even though that thing was wood, that would still the hurt scene. so bad. Yeah, <laughs> wood yeah, wooden like balsa would still really hurt. Yeah, there are yeah. no explanations to be found in the real world. Well, this story they could like break her neck or something. Yeah. wax figure withstand the lasting test of truth, or when all is said and done, will it simply melt away? Dun, 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 we'll find dun, dun, out if this dun, story dun, dun, is true or false at the end of our show. Next, a hospital becomes a bloody nightmare. On oh, this. another hospital? Yeah. Oh what is this? Oh. They're like season three is gonna be freaking Grey's oh. Anatomy mode. Yeah, um. a lot of guillotines in Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so I've heard. Mm -hmm. It's fiction. Now let's look at the house with the curse on it. The <laughs> <Can> we <laughs> the museum with the. All right. I know we've still got we still got time left on this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it get all mm -hmm. up to the thing. How did you judge that one? What was going through your head those last few moments? <laughs> yeah, are you all right? See somebody's this... head get cut off, like selfishly, you know. That was scary. I thought he was about to say. Oh God. All right. I think the prediction's over. Yeah. Eerie tale of the wax exhibit that seems to have a life of its own it has to be false, right? Wrong. This one happened in a wax museum in Canada. Our source material spots it around three decades ago. Our source material. Nice. Um, interviews conducted by author Robert the Trailers. guy who heard it from a guy who heard it from a That's literally what it's guy. like. Julio is on the way. Oh, let's go. I know him. I remember right in the middle of the pandemic, I was ordering a lot of uh, DoorDash, and mm. there was one moment where I got like the th the same DoorDasher like three times in a row, and he started to remember my name. Oh. And that's when I knew that it was over for me. That's a problem that I have now, because there's a place that I go mm -hmm. uh, for food. <laughs> it's, mm. it's I think it's called the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there's a place I go and I exchange money for food. Interesting. And I've been going a lot, because it's really good, and they now recognized me and they gave me like a a local like little discount card thing Ooh, and they all regular. all the employees know my name i'm like oh, oh. i i like feel a little too seen because i come here too often yeah the coffee shop that i walked to in the morning they know my order i walk in and they oh, yeah. I get it cooking Th damn it's awesome they get that coffee cooking mm -hmm. all right he was an absolute perfectionist wax well, why me? What are you doing? Because it's got to be a girl. It sounds like he's, he's trying to the murder her. Yeah. I feel like that guy's, he's a, uh, he's a red flag. On Beyond Belief, fact or fiction? To many seriously ill people, these bags mean life itself. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Is that blood? Yeah, I would say so, John. <laughs> the steady drip, drip, drip of these life-giving liquids. Provide the beat of life giving life liquids. Giving liquids. Uh, he says about blood. Life for oh. patients in critical condition. But cut off that nourishment. And the beat goes off. So Nurse Gwen Buckbinder. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, what's her name? Damn. It's off. Nurse Gwen Buckbinder. 
is used to patients who need nourishment to survive. The names are wild, yeah. dude. But a new patient has just checked onto her floor, and his medical needs are about to go off the chart. His medical needs. I've been working the midnight to seven shift at St. Francis County for the past five years. I'd seen a lot. I guess there's going to be blood in this, and there's going to be hospital stuff in this, so watch out if you're sensitive to that. A lot of strange cases, but nothing prepared me for what came in late one night. Uh, Sarah, can we pin that? You're doing that already. I knew you were doing that. Thank you. It was just another John Doe, but this one was suffering from severe malnutrition and acute anemia. Why is everyone have an accent? He was so far gone, I didn't think he was going to make it. Wait a second. Does she, she does an accent? Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. Listen how she says acute anemia. It was just another John Doe, but this one was suffering from severe malnutrition. Severe malnutrition. It's like British, but like, it's like the LaCroix version of British yeah. accent. Wait, it's wait, like wait. so faint. And acute anemia. Acute anemia. Like he was so gone, I didn't think he there. was going to make it. He refused all solid food and was being sustained on glucose IVs and blood plasma transfers. It sounds like someone trying not to do their accent. Yeah. But now only 24 hours later, yeah, it sounds like his vitals were remarkably it. up. It looked like he was going to pull through. If you eat some solid food, you'd recover a lot quicker, you know. Ew. Why no appetite so yet. Huh? Okay, pal. If you need anything, just push a button. I'm on till seven. Red flag. The following night, I was on He's my rounds when I thought I heard voices Come coming from there. inside room 621. Directed by Skip Schoolnick. It was two in the morning, long past visiting hours. <gasps> Who are you? That scared me. And what are you doing here? Oh, they are the Canes. They are here to see Eric. Eric? His name is Eric Creighton. He did odd jobs for us around the house. We became worried last week when he did not show up. So we went to police. They sent us here. Please leave. <laughs> I want to spend some time with my friends. Alone. It is way past visiting hours. I'm sorry. They were not aware. Please, give us some time. Alone. I don't even have, like, a thing to say. Like, he's just, <laughs> just being like, what's weird. What's going on? He's just... <laughs> He's, it's giving like okay. What's the chat's probably gonna know the one of the colons. He's the one that's like he just he's he's dating Alice. Um, you ever watch Twilight? You never watched Twilight? I, I've did seen, you? I actually watched it recently. But... Jasper. He's giving Jasper from Twilight a little bit. <laughs> he's just an introvert. Am I wrong? Ja look at look at this chat. They, we have a bunch is, of Twilight fans this is in some, here. This look is, at you. I I knew my audience would be Twilight pilled. Mm -hmm. All right. I will break the rules, but just this once. Oh, thank you, my dear. Why does he look like that? <laughs> he just, every time he's... Sir, why do you look like that? <laughs> he's just... It's so... He's got resting bitch face a little bit. It's like resting serial killer face. Yeah, well, we, there's still so time. Yeah, I guess that's name, true. Eric Creighton. But what was really going on? Can we call creep behavior? Yes. On in room yes. 621. It seemed like more than just a visit from a couple of old friends. And what was that creepy old man doing in the bathroom? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Could you hold one second, please? Did they take his body? He's still alive. I was determined to get to the bottom of this. She's gonna pull the covers off and he's gonna be gone. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, who sleeps like that? But I had every. <laughs> it's a dead 
like this right guy's... to check that bathroom. Yeah, I was sleeping like this was the safest time to do it white. without causing an incident. Isn't there a Don't code you can there. call when something goes wrong? Code blue. This patient definitely had me scared. Yeah, I would not. I would not be comfortable entering this room me by myself. Me going to the bathroom after Andre just was in there. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just... I have something was seriously wrong. <laughs> you're just sitting there contemplating. What do you want? Okay, pal. This is giving twilight. It is, yeah. It's... I didn't mean to disturb you. I was just looking. They, may, they should do the color grading thing where they make it super green mm -hmm. or blue or whatever. already been picked up. Now please leave my room. Please leave Get my room. Mm. <laughs> I'm a very light sleeper. He's, he's a little goofy. I came in early the next night. I just couldn't get Eric Creighton out of my mind. Who was he? Or more importantly, what, what was, was he? About last he night? come off a little weird. Somebody ripped off 200 bags of plasma from the blood weird bank. Weird shell. What? Yeah. To weird, ain't it? Chewy center. Yeah, real weird. <laughs> I'm like preparing myself Checked to see the delivery person and not think it's. They just knock on the window. Yeah, they're. Mm -hmm. What's up? Just do it for me. I'll tell you later. All right. One X ray coming up. One nice. x-ray coming up? Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. This is definitely something you should say to somebody. Like, it's getting an x-ray. Yeah. Eric Creighton, more like Eric Fright. Isn't his name Eric Peter? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. This is more It is a vampire. What are they doing? This is also extreme. I'm glad bad. we have the TW on there. Could be anything. I told you to stay away. The hell is oh, this? Did he he up the horn. Oh, he slurped him. What did you do to him? I gave him a slurpee. <laughs> stay away from me. That is like the most like nineties two thousands like the slow. Yeah, oh it's like slow mo at like 24 frames a second. He doesn't even have like convincing vampire teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of going back to the Why'd they turn this into such a horror movie? Nice. Oh, he's got the vampire super strength. Uh, I think it's just a slow motion. I think he's, just, <laughs> he's actually not that bad. He's just very bad. Oh, no, he does have a super speed. Uh, <laughs> Fact, average Florida patient. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this episode so scary? Secret. They didn't want the their Halloween hospital episode? associated yeah, with seriously. vampires. And then it hit me. They didn't want their hospital associated with vampires? Okay. Yeah. Maybe Eric wasn't a vampire. Maybe his goal all along no. was to steal blood and no sell insurance. it illegally. By pretending to be a vampire, he knew his crime would go unreported. And his weird freakish super strength. Yeah. Um, Patient didn't do anything wrong. He's just kind of a weirdo. Okay, cool. I guess I'll never know. Oh, no. We didn't... We don't know that... If vampires are real, right? Yeah. What about the movement I was feeling? You put the neighbors up. Sorry, I was going through your ears at around three decades. This one happened. We can't save you, Cinnamon Bite. There's a oh, yeah. story. Yeah, there's a. Yeah. So we sorry. did the prediction. Oh, amazing. Let's review the story of the hospital with a bloodthirsty patient. What are they doing? told you to stay away! Why? What did, did he come do back him? into the room and There is certainly more than one in this away. country associated with vampire-like activities. Is it possible that one of them participated in our story? Yes. 
it is possible because our research shows this story happened to a registered nurse on the East Coast about 20 years ago. It's fact. What happened to her? Ah! What happened exactly? Please explain. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> that happened to her. I knew it. That's inspired Twilight. Wow, they are really shook up about that one. I haven't seen any other episodes, but this episode really is... It's like a Halloween episode. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's, it is it is weird. It is a little unusual. I wouldn't say it's crazy unusual, but... This crime would go on. One really need to drink. What really happened here? No. Did the patient at room 621 really need to drink blood to survive? Vampire stories have been with us for centuries, and there are recorded ceremonies in which certain tribes and cults actually drink human blood. But perhaps the explanation is yeah, more like, worth like Perhaps that. Eric and his cohorts <laughs> right? were clever thieves who wanted to give the impression of being vampires. <laughs> so no, they usually use some of those crazy straws, the curly Q ones. Someone said, a story corroborated by author Brent Bram Stoker. Yep. Activities would go unreported. But then again, how was it that Eric survived a six-story drop, never to be found? What? Is this vampire <laughs> tale based on an actual part. event? Or are we just trying to suck you in? Huh? We'll find out if this story is true. So, there's in the story where a guy drank a ton of blood and then it fell six stories and survived is true. I, well, I feel like that's what they would do. You know, it's a crazy story. Rule or false at the end of our show. Next, yeah. a no, deadly I mean, game I mean, of chance on Beyond Belief. Fact or fiction. In the heyday of the touring carnivals, prize booths were big money makers for the Barkers on the Midway. While many carnivals ran... That sentence was insane. I, too, would jump out of a six-story building instead of paying a hospital bill. Valid. The carnivals... Health system is in this, shambles. This, um, this sentence is insane. Fact or fiction? In the heyday of the touring carnivals, prize booths were big money makers for the Barkers on the Midway. <laughs> What? <laughs> that was like that was. It, I'm sorry. Am I the only one who that feels was just this like a way? String chat? of words. That was such a wild string of words. Game of chance. On the in the stream when you were saying a bunch of stuff and I was like, yeah, that's this is what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> what is a Barker on the midway? <laughs> Believe fact or fiction? <laughs> he just, sounds British. He's just talking. <laughs> like it just sounds British. In the heyday. In the heyday yeah, the of touring carnivals, carnivals prize, prize booths booth. were big money makers for the Barkers on the Midway. Booths were big money makers for the Barkers, Barkers on, on the Midway. Midway. While many carnivals ran in ethical it. games of chance, others stacked the odds in their own favor. For example, the points of these darts are left purposely dull. The balloons underinflated, making them much more difficult to break. <laughs> these milk bottles make a tempting target. <laughs> Knock three over, win a prize. Satisfying. Wow. Oh my god, I. That's insane. There's a jar of eating a taco. Why does this emote exist? <laughs> this is my emote. I made this. These milk bottles make a tempting target. Knock three over, win a prize. It looks very easy until you learn that they're weighted on the bottom. Big Ralph Zabriskie ran a crooked booth at a carnival. These names are absurd. Big Ralph Zabriskie? 20 yep. years. He came from a long line of cheaters. Oh, look he was very good at what he did. But as Ralph is about to learn, oh, yeah. how was no matter yours? how skilled good. the con man, for round two. Oh, oh, yeah. you can't cheat fate. Big Ralph's traveling carnival looked like a place devoted to fun, but it had a wicked underbelly. Big Ralph, an ex-con who had committed everything from grand larceny to murder, was hiding out here from yep. the law. And while he planned his next he major crime, his, he spent his time running the carnival. That far apart. Cheating the children. <laughs> major crime. Murder was hiding. Big Ralph, an ex-con who had committed everything from grand larceny to murder, was hiding out here from the law. And while he planned his next major crime, he spent his time running the carnival and cheating little children. 
close one. You're good, little girl. Oh, I almost yeah. lost one of my stuffed pals. Another dollar, another ring, another chance. What do you say? Big Ralph knew that the hoops were about the same size as the cans, so the ring one was next to impossible. Oh, too bad. You got any oh, more I'm money, sweetie? This. <laughs> it's like, no offense, kid. But you're then beat it, kid. You're taking up space. Step right up. Win a beautiful stuffed animal for just a dollar. Wait just a minute. Step right up. Oh, what do you say, Pop? Put your money down. Try your luck. In the next few moments, Big Ralph's luck and his entire future were about to change forever. How did you do that, Pop? <laughs> Guess I'm just lucky. Yeah, right. Real lucky. Which one do you want? The bunny. I'll take the bunny. You ever play this game before, Pop? You look awful familiar. Nope, never played. Thank you, mister. The old man decided to reward all the kids who had been cheated by Ralph that day. You'll never do that again, old man. He's the hero that we need, but we don't deserve. But Big Ralph was wrong. The old man would do it this again. This is giving me Big Ralph has been dead for a hundred years vibes. Again and again, all day long. Big guy's so mad. He's cleaning him out. I feel like you've got to have a limit on how many things you can win, right? I don't know. You're goaded with the sauce. No, I just mean, like, for the thing, it's like if you're clearly good at the game, it's like you can win once. This kind of thing had never happened to Big Ralph. Cleaning before. him out for all the The old kids. master swindler was beginning to feel he was being swindled himself, and there was nothing he could do There's to stop watch it. Situation. I don't know. Can they explain that? It's like the scene in like Willy Wonka when he's like tossing the <laughs> Big candy Ralph to all was the being kids taken the to the cleaners by an old man with an amazing ability for Also, toss. didn't they also say this guy was a murderer? <laughs> oh, yeah. And all the time the old man was winning prize after prize, Big Ralph was trying to guess what's the angle? Who is this he's guy? He's good at the game. Was it somebody from Big Ralph's violent criminal past? The, they say the ring is, is not that. All right. Is That's it the it. same size as the thing, so it's impossible? But then, for in fact, it, it looks very It possible. looks a lot bigger, yeah. Just what kind of game are you playing, old man? Ring toss? Ring toss! Mm. Oh, nailed it. Man, I feel, I feel, wow. I felt something. You've watched <laughs> too much of this show. <laughs> I felt something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby! This is his arc. Hi, Bobby. You hustle me, you old bag of bones. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. Now you're gonna pay me. I, I'm a little bit a victim blamer here. One, because this guy's a murderer. <laughs> um, and two, because I feel that he should have said, okay, you can't play anymore. Right. That Nothing's stopping him from saying It's not he like there's a cut carnival off. He just union. did this. Yeah. He was just upset. He just went, what is he doing? Like, and then everybody's like, I want a giant plushie. Right, exactly. How many giant plushies did he bring to the carnival? I'm... If he's never given one away, why would he have a thousand of them? I think he's just about hey, setting boundaries, I want those animals yeah. which is a personal issue. I don't owe you yeah, anything. I agree. And I want what's coming to me. Whoa, you'll get what's coming to you, Big Ralph. I feel Who like are you, old man? man? It's like a just a harmless old man. No, he's an old man you. suit. I yeah, I hear you, but I I think this guy's been dead for a hundred years. Cheat. He's the ghost of somebody that Big Ralph killed. Taking advantage of children for years. Years ago. Or yeah, maybe not. It's one or the other, but okay. get off these grounds. And if I see you here again, I'll give you a beating you'll never forget. Okay, 
I, I have a feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to predict here. I'm getting, I'm getting a little lost in the sauce. Okay. He's gonna look back. He's gonna get look back to get mad at the guy, mm -hmm. and then the guy's gonna be gone. Okay. Or this old guy's You're gonna really be gone. Hey, big rope! Like a ghost. <laughs> like a... You forgot your ring. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Hey, I've been looking for you. Where you been? Taking care of some business. What's up? You got a car off track inside. Everything's going wrong today. Oh my God, <laughs> she didn't do anything. No. Rusted bucket of bolts. Oh no. Damn. <sighs> That's just great. Get out of my face, you cheap piece of Don't junk. Don't they normally turn the lights on when they're operating on stuff? It Maybe. Feels, it feels like oh! Ah, my foot! My foot! I really got this job. Look at this. Are you I've okay? Seen a snake tattoo. Oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on? Sonia, <laughs> stop playing with the sound! <laughs> Get this. The old man. Oh yeah, Big Ralph seems like it follows protocol. I just mean it seems like it'd be easy. It can't be. It just can't be. Jake, Bobby, I need help now. Why is there a wolf loose in the theme park? This left is driving me nuts. It won't turn off. I tried. So the old man had the last laugh on Big Ralph, who was now hanged to death by the hoop from the game of ring toss. It's a little bit who like was the mysterious old man. Was abstract. You know, this was this was a little bit like um, Deus Ex Machina or whatever, because the that whole part of it, that whole ride and stuff, was never set up beforehand. Yeah, it's we true. didn't know about it. That is true. Was he some spirit sent to avenge the wrongful deeds of Big Ralph? Or was Big Ralph done in by some angry employees who were tired of his treachery and hateful ways? But then how do you explain the close resemblance of the old... <laughs> this uh, this uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie seems really good. ...man to the funhouse figure. Was that set up to make an all-too-real crime seem supernatural? Is this tale of the deadly game of ring toss inspired by an actual event? Or have we rigged the game? Once they could just leave his body there and it'd make the ride a whole lot scarier. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would Next, actually... you'll find out which of our stories are facts... For a little bit, until it started decomposing. ...and which are fiction when Beyond Belief returns. returns. I think that one is, it is... Uh, fiction. Right. Ah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> this is, uh... Cheers. Cheers. Wait, wait for me, we gotta... This is for the final, uh... Mm -hmm. Factor, Factor fiction. fiction. Possible because our research shows fact. Cheating carnival barker who met an ironic fate in his own funhouse. This booth is closed for repairs. Just what kind of game are you playing, old man? Ring toss. There's a common belief that carnivals employ people with shady or questionable backgrounds. Is that? This lends credence to the fact that this story may have happened. But not this time. Mm. We made it up. All right, what did everybody say? What did everybody say? I bet that they guessed right. We got some. That one was just too good. It was two talks. goosebumps, you know. It was. It was. Oh the wow! Guys. Ninety-three. Now, some of these people are cheating. Cheaties. Some of these people are cheating. 
overturning the economy. Once again, we've tried to demonstrate that truth and falsehood live side by side. I don't think he did that. No. Were you able to separate fact from fiction tonight? A Literally little bit. <laughs> or did you find our conclusions simply beyond belief? Yeah, that. He that said it. She said the thing. He said the thing. Join us next week for more Beyond. Join us Ooh, next the week narrator. for more. That's like the go-to narrator guy for that this era. This is Don LaFontaine. Yeah, he used to the do narrator. movie. Yeah, he used to do movie, all the movie trailers and mm -hmm. stuff. He passed away, unfortunately, but yeah, yeah he's iconic. He like is the iconic voice. So good ear. On belief, fact or fiction. My emotions. It was a roller coaster. Yeah. What did you think? That was good. Yeah, it's a good show. It's I a wonder, good show. Is that one like kind of feel a little Halloween ish, or are they all kind of? They like, all kind of have this vibe, but okay. there are so many hospital stories in this, and so much blood. <laughs> it was a hospital themed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about that, but normally, like, like yeah, there, there's the stories are always kind of like themed like this. Okay, got it. Um, what was your favorite one? Ooh. I gotta go. I gotta give it up Bev. to my girl Bev Crookshank. What Bev, was her name? I Bev. Don't fucking know. Marvels. Bev Crank Crank Cranky House. Mr. and Mrs. The Marvels. Uh, let me see. Bev in the hills. That never Bev Conklin. <laughs> ah, Conklin. Conklin. Interesting. Um, I liked the um, the guillotine one was pretty good. Guillotine was good. Um, but I think I have to give it up to ah, maybe the guillotine one. Guillotine one, the French accents, the, that, the accents, yeah, that's French what did accents. it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. They have to go. Well, I mean, thank you for thank you for being here. Thank yes. you for being here on the thank stream. You for having me. Chat, yeah, you're a lovely audience. Yeah, chat. Thanks for being on your best behavior today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you.